Hi, so today I'm going to be using this palette, hence the no eye makeup, look a bit crazy. Um, but if you guys haven't seen it, it's the Stacey Marie, I think that's how you say her name. Um, it's got all these colours in it, I've been dying to try it. I've used the highlighter here, which is really, really nice. Um, it gives more of like a wet look kind of sheen on the cheeks. I wasn't too sure at first. I'm going to use it now just with this sort of fluffy brush. I thought as I was going to be using it, I'd show you. So I do dust a little bit down my nose. Obviously with highlighter, I do think it's like personal preference where you put it. Um, I take it a bit under my brow. I just pop it. Can you, do you see what I mean? Okay, it's quite mega actually. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, but I do put quite a lot on, but I feel like it'd be nice on on clients and other people as well. If you do want just a little bit, you can just... Do you know what I mean? You can build it up or you can make it more, more soft if you want to. So I'm just popping that on. So I'm sure you can see I've done my skin already. So I used um, MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof. I mixed, I think it's NC42 and NC20. Yeah, I mixed them together because I've got a bit of a like fake tan going on at the moment. And then always a little bit like on the cupid's bow. It's re yeah, it picks up really nice on camera actually. It's really, really nice. But it's like, for, for me, this is my perfect highlight shade because it's like between champagne and gold. And then today, the look I think we're going to go for is, oh, there's just so many colours. So I'm going to start off with this big Zoeva brush, which is the 227 um, Soft Luxe Crease. Um, and we're just going to go for it. This could turn out terribly wrong. But yeah, I've put um, the, where is it? The Revolution Conceal on. This is in C7, just as a base, and I've just set that with a little bit of powder. Um, and yeah, and so I'm going to take this brush, I'm dipping it into Shuffle, so it's that really nice, like, mustardy yellow. And we're just going to see where it goes, really. I'm probably, I'm going to use a bit of both. I've got a little mirror here and a mirror here, so hopefully you can sort of see what I'm doing. Actually, it might be, I'm going to do it here. You'll be able to see a bit better. And you can see the pigment on these is insane. Now, obviously, like, the kind of Instagram trend and what, like, Stacey Marie does um, is that real, like, packing on effect, which I do really love. That colour is beautiful. This is kind of a first impressions as well, I guess, because I haven't... I've used, obviously, the highlighter and I've used a bit of that basic shade. That's really nice if you just want, like, liner and a bit of, like, bronzer in the crease. Wow, the pigment on these is insane. And I'm actually really impressed so far, so far obviously one shade, but like there's no fallout. Usually I always do um, my eyes before my base, just cause I can't be doing with going back and forth with like concealer and touch ups. Um, but today, cause I'm just filming the eyes, I thought it would be a lot easier to do that first. Oh, what is this lighting? Okay, so, okay, that's fine. That colour is amazing. Okay. I'm going to go in with an orange next. We're going for sunset vibes. I'm going to go, go in with lit. I'm going to see where that takes us. I think it's just going to like deepen that up a little bit. Wow. They're like neon. I love it. I think NYX do like a palette um, with like similar colours but not as many. But it is a bit cheaper oh i thought i stopped filming sorry my battery's low it is a bit cheaper but i've not tried it i've heard good things about it though but these are so creamy like that's one thing i can say they're blending really nicely together and i think with like brighter color shadows that's one thing you can lose because of them like because it's such a bright, like, different colour, you'll lose it in the formula. Like, it won't be as creamy and easy to blend. I'm taking it quite high up as well. But I've got a lot of lid space, so I feel like I can do that. But I don't always... I don't like it when it's too high. I like there to be a nice, like, defined brow highlight, if that makes sense. And then... Decisions, decisions. 
I think we might go in with some basic, tone it down a little, well not tone it down, but I think that's sort of the route I'm gonna go down. Yeah, that's really nice. See, so you could sort of pack this over the eye if you wanted like that. Nice sort of smoky eye. This brush is really, really nice as well. It's like, it's the 227, it's the Zoeva ones. I just find their brushes are really good, especially eye brushes. They're such good value for money as well. So that's just tone the colours down a little bit. So I will, can you see like when you blend the yellow's kind of gone? So I am going to go back in with that. Might go in with Rowdy now. Add some depth. That's one thing I'm not sure about yet. I lied, I've used like two colours. I've used Rowdy and Basic. Um... I don't know how dark, oh, okay, it does come out quite dark, can you see that? I was about to say, I don't know how dark these colours sort of come through, but, but I have used quite a lot, I did pick quite a lot up on my brush. So, I always kind of pack on the outer corner and then pull it through the crease if that makes sense and then blend yeah so you can see how although like it's really nice to blend and the colors you have like really lost the yellow at the top but we will um go back in with that that's quite a bit of color on i feel like you can't really see it's a lot darker in real life it's gonna take like a normal fluffy brush and just like buff at the edges um i am gonna take i think a little bit of that yellow again, that shuffle. But like a little bit light, blah, 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 a little bit more lightly. See this, I can imagine like if you packed, I don't think that rowdy would be dark enough, but if you packed like, um, like from the Jack and the Hill palette, like a really dark brown color, this would make a really lovely um, sort of dark brown smoky eye. And I think that yellow just in the crease looks really nice, like just peeking through. I always find as well with more dramatic eye looks they kind of come together more at the end. I feel like that's definitely true when you watch like little Instagram videos. I was gonna like stick with just the um, Be Perfect palette but I just wanna really like intensify it. That's the only thing in here, they don't really have a black do they? No, so they've got like the liquor which is liquor, liquor, um, like the dark like purple and then they've got like a deep navy but I do want like a black um that's why I do really like the Jack Nail palette because it has a black um so I'm just gonna like pack that on the outer part um I'm gonna use like just a little pencil brush like quite a dense one first I'm just gonna go right in with the black and then I'm gonna blend that out So that's where I've like stamped it, so it always looks a bit weird at first. And then taking a Zoeva, I said that weird, Zoeva 231 brush. So it's like same as the pencil brush, but this one's fluffier. So you can use that just at the edges. And then going back with the little like fluffy brush that pretty much hasn't got anything on it. Before I go into the other eye, I'm going to like cut, just need to, I don't really know where I'm going with this right now. Um, so I'm going to take like a little flat brush and some of that um, concealer and I'm just going to, sorry I'm not finishing my sentences, that's really annoying. I'm just going to like cut the crease, but like halfway. So you can see it's like a semi, semi circle. So this is the um, Peach and Cream Pigment in Gatsby. I'm gonna take a bit of Fix Plus. I'm just gonna pack that on. 
it is inside. And again, like you want to feather it so you get like a, a nice, nice blend. Just ruined my concealer. That is fine. Um, I'm really impressed with the shadows though, they're really nice. Then I need to add the black on the other side. So just match these. So this is kind of where we're at so far. It looks a lot more like red and orange on camera. Hopefully um, in the pictures it, it's more true to colour. So I oh, need to touch my concealer up. So you can tell it's all like coming together. Now I'm just packing on that black. Um, just makes such a difference when you like clean up and your eye and add a darker colour. So I'm then going to use some liquid liner. Um, I just really like this collection one because it's like a liquid and it's just really easy to use. Some people prefer pens, some people prefer gel. So the easy, the good not that easy the good part about um having like a winged liner shape is that it makes eyeliner a lot easier because it obviously gives you a guide so you just want to follow that line and then bring down amazing so that's the liner done and then we're going to take the shadows underneath um, before we do that i'm going to go in with some cold pencil just in the waterline could do with sharpening my Again, like this is optional, obviously, like everything's optional with makeup, but I find with like some looks when you're um, when you're taking the the um, shadow underneath, it can almost not look like joined and blended when you don't have something dark. Just taken up onto my top one as well. And then we're going to take the shadows underneath. Um, I personally like taking like an angled, oh my god my fake hands really bad, an angled like liner brush. And then I like to smudge it, but everyone does it in like their own way I think. Um, so I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go back in with that yellow, basically take everything that we took on top underneath. Okay, then going in with that orange. And then I'm gonna go, I am gonna go in with a little bit of black. So basically all I did was just take the, like the orange, the yellow, the like um, sort of taupey brown shade under the lash line and then with the angle brush, going back in with that black from the Morphe palette. And that makes like quite a nice smoky lower lash line. Um, I'm gonna pop some mascara on and then I'm gonna go on a hunt for some lashes. This is the Shark Tilby Lend You Lashes 2 Mascara. So I'm doing that on top and bottom. And I quite like a lot on the bottom, especially when you're doing like such a dramatic look. So I'm gonna have a look for some lashes. Be right back. So I found some lashes. Um, these are really, really nice ones. Let me see if I can kind of show you. They are in fact, just like Ilya, but they're like the enchanted ones. Um, so I'm just going to get some lash glue and put these on. You can see the difference. With a lash, without a lash. Makes such a difference. Really big difference. Um... So I'm just going to pop the other one on now. 
So that's the finished look. Overall, I am so impressed with this. Really impressed. They've blended like a dream. And I feel like, like this just goes to show you can use, you know, your bright orange, your bright yellows, all your bright colours and still get a very wearable look. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video today and I'll see you guys later. Bye.